to be or not to be? No, that's not it. Hold yeah, on. what's no. the line? Hold on. It's to be. Yeah, I don't know. Or not to be, which no, is no, that's, which, that's not it. Which, to our stupid reactions the idiots i'm corbin and this is rick i live in apartment 2b <gasps> or not 2b no i don't live there then that is the question is that it? is where the hell do i live thank you for joining us <laughs> <laughs> goodbye we're done um so you can follow us on instagram and twitter for all juicy, juicy content. content you can follow us on patreon for hey. exclusive content the woman of juice what it's so juicy. And uh, you can also ring the bell to be part of the notification squad. <laughs> Today, we don't care. We're rebels. We have a P.O. box. Oh, wow. That's, I don't know. Do we show that to people? It's down in the description. <gasps> don't look. But the final part of the trilogy, <gasps> I think. Dun, dun, dun. This is called uh, like McDougal or something like that. Yeah, McDougal or Macbeth, not to be confused with McDonald's McRibs. Uh, Mc, McBool. Kind of sounds like McDonald's, like a bowl. Hey, yeah. A big bowl. I'll have a big bowl. <laughs> and a large fry. And a... Would you pronounce that? McBowl? McBowl? McBowl. 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 I'll have a McBowl. I'll have a McBowl. <laughs> but this one we're very excited about. It has uh, Irf Khan. Irfan. Irfan Khan, sorry. Irfan Khan. And, oh, really? Uh, and uh, he plays Macbeth. And then, what's oh, her face? Uh, um, Taboo. T Taboo, sorry. She is. No, sorry. No. The, the one who's in Hater. Tabu, sorry. Yeah, who plays Gertrude in Hater. Yeah, she plays uh, Lady Macbeth. Get out of town and don't come back. Uh, Seriously? Yes. Why are we... This, we don't need to watch the trailer. Just go watch the movie right now. Uh, well, probably, because it's an old one. So, who knows how... Oh! Good. <laughs> Let there be a narrator. Come on. Obviously, as always with old stuff, uh, yeah. we, we won't judge it by that. Especially <laughs> with this director and these actors. When the three witches stand before the cauldron, <laughs> will Macbeth... Anyway, but uh, we're excited because obviously the others, well, the hater was great and um, the Othello one looked really good too. Yes, yes. King of Kings. This is going to be great. This is... This is gonna take a turn real quick. Why? Just because it's Macbeth? <laughs> Macbeth is a happy story. Here it is. They knocked the wind here. Yeah, there's the blood on her hands. 
watch the movie yeah they uh oh yeah but for an old film once again that was great trailer really for an old film for, yeah. for an old film um but uh, with these two actors as as the leads and then the director you I mean it, it's hard to go wrong uh, and obviously it's the story of Macbeth, which is a very happy story <laughs> <laughs> one of shakespeare's greatest comedy yes <laughs> um but uh, uh <laughs> I'm so looking forward to that because obviously we will be watching because we'll watch all these ones with Shakespeare and obviously we both know uh, Macbeth much yeah better. much much better than Othello Othello yeah um, but I'd love to see more your fun your fun your fun your fun con your fun con oh man this is, yeah come on and um, him and, and Taboo together oh, yeah. I think she's actually one of the actresses we've seen the most of her work so far <sighs> it's true she seems to be in everything everything it's true. Yeah, and, and and I've seen her actually because I remember from Life of Pi, so it's like I, I remember her from that. And I just, watching this trailer got me mad again. Mm -hmm. You know what got me mad at the white man <laughs> <laughs> in a certain sense. Yes. <laughs> Tell me the last time anybody in American cinema did a, a current good adaptation of William Shakespeare. Tell me. I think it was recently. But you can't remember it. Uh, well, I know they, um, Sir Ian McKellen does it like Broadway all the time. <laughs> Broadway, of course. Shakespeare's always done on Broadway because that's a place for the classics and the greats and a love for mm -hmm. all things theater and acting. But in American cinema, when was the last time somebody did an intellectually stimulating and artistically meritorious adaptation? Of William Shakespeare uh, there's been a lot of them in the past but I'm talking recent I don't know taking current events current political situations and, and contemporizing them and having and knowing Shakespeare like the back of your hand well, and then a, wasn't and, 10 things I hate about you the uh, taming of the shrew I think it was but obviously that that's was very not loose. yeah that was a very uh, that's the thing I'm upset about is is I want to see more of the classics being done in this way I'm trying uh, to look up to see if... Uh... I mean, the last thing I think anyone would know about that's been done, one of my favorites, which isn't an adaptation, it's an actual telling of it, is, is um, Kenneth Branagh's Henry V. Mm. And then he also did a contemporized version of Hamlet, as mm -hmm. it were. Uh, but not like this. Not like these three trailers we've seen and the one film we've seen. It's not happening. Yeah, I and I understand it because yeah, ten, things, ten things was ten yeah, years. and I understand it. The Lion King. Well, yeah, <laughs> but I understand it because unfortunately there has come a dumbing down of a lot of the audience as a whole. So from a studio vantage point, it's we're not going to make a lot of money with that film. Uh huh. But still, make it. I'm betting the last good one was something the BBC did. Yeah. Well, the BBC makes a lot of great stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and it do. wouldn't surprise me because the Brits love the classics. Yeah, and I mean. They sound better doing it too, though. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's what I'm just so impressed by. Yeah, but is, the please let us know how this is. Yeah, um, you know who'd be really good? I mean, he'd be good. Name Tom Hardy. I'd I'd watch Tom Hardy do any Shakespearean thing. But he'd be, I think, really good at Macbeth. I, I, Hamlet too, obviously. Yeah. Um, but the uh, Ten Things I hit Romeo and Juliet with uh, Richard the Third with Ian McKellen. Right, which was a long time ago, though. Ran. We're, Ran. we're talking 1980s, 80s, 60s, 60s. which yeah, there so is. I'm very interested to see what Spielberg's going to do with West Side Story, which is Romeo and Juliet. Oh, he's doing it again? It's in production right now. That's not something you should do again. He's getting a lot of flack for it. 
But I, and you know what he's getting a lot of flack for? Redoing a classic? Not just redoing a classic, but a lot of people are concerned about how he's going to portray the Puerto Ricans mm-hmm. based on all that's gone on with the hurricane in Puerto Rico and the way that Puerto Rico was treated like garbage mm-hmm. and the way that there's race relation tensions right now at the border. Yeah. There's a lot of people concerned about touching that subject matter. Interesting. Yeah. But yeah, this, this but looked really, really good. I can't wait to see um, this. Is, should we watch, uh, obviously, Rick won. Some people said that you shouldn't revisit Othello. And just see this. On its own. Oh, it's um, I've had other people tell me, make sure you brush up on Othello. Yeah. I think it's meant to like for you to know the story. I would think so. Like, Because, I mean, if they say it's an adaptation. It's, it's like, an adaptation of that. And he clearly knows the stuff like the back of his hand. I want to enjoy the brilliance of him incorporating the, yeah. min- the minutia. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm getting yeah. back into the fellow before we watch that thing. But obviously this one... I, Beth, I could jump into right now. I'm obviously more interested in this one because just because of the actors. Yes. Just, we know them. We but know the them. other one looks really, really good too. It's just, please let us know, like, which, should we watch the Othello one? Should we watch a McBowl? Uh, <laughs> have like, a McBowl! Have a McBowl! The McBowl is back! 